Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome to March. We got basketball, important college basketball. Not like the rest of it wasn't important, but really important college basketball, like conference tournaments. Mid-majors, well, extremely low mid-majors, possibly. But college basketball tournaments, nonetheless, it's postseason basketball. I'm excited. Unfortunately, it started yesterday. No one decided to tell me, so that's why there was no um, Northeast Conference I know everyone so sad. No Northeast Conference predictions. They'll be coming at the very latest tomorrow, well, more than likely tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm here with the games that uh, with the tournaments that start today at five o'clock Mountain Time, seven Eastern, four o'clock Pacific. But the Patriot League did the other two today, Atlantic Sun and um, the other one, Horizon. Be a Patriot League. There's a few good teams. Let's say three. Three for sure. Maybe four and five. Or four or five. But the games today, not maybe they'll be good games. It won't really matter in the long run. But um, yeah, Lafayette Leopards, Bucknell Bison. First game of the day. Well, actually, they both started seven, four, whatever time, depending on where you're from. Yeah. Um, but the first game in order. Lafayette, Leopards, Bucknell Bison. Honestly, don't know too much about these teams. But I know one has a better record than the other. So I'm going to roll with them in this game. I, I'm going to go with Lafayette, Leopards over the Bucknell Bison. Uh, they've both got both a better record at um, non-conference and conference. So I feel pretty confident rolling with them. Now, as for Holy Cross and American uh, University, as patriotic as sometimes I am, Got to go with uh, the Christian side of me. Got to go with Holy Cross here. Both of them suck. They were 9-21 and 21, um, overall. But Holy Cross 7-11 in the Patriot. And I think they beat, um, if I remember correctly, I think they beat a couple teams late in the season. Well, they lost their last three. Now that's five of their last six. But they beat Navy. They beat Bucknell and Loyola. Army and Boston. That's... That's four of the f five decent teams I, that I think there are. So I'll roll with them. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with them. I, I see no reason not to. So Anyway, moving on to more important ones. Um, coming on Thursday. That's the day. Um, yeah, starting off, I believe they're all, yeah, they're all at the same time as they will be today. We got the Colgate Raiders versus um, versus the Lafayette Leopards, rolling with Colgate. Uh, they're thirteen and two in conference. If I my memory does work, oh sorry, twelve and one in conference. Twenty and eleven overall. I feel confident about Colgate in that game. Lehigh Mountain Hawks, Army Black Knights, rolling with Army solely because they play Duke, and um, hoping that. Yeah, sorry, hoping that um. Like they're used to that tough, uh, tough game. Um, got no other reason outside of that. But we're rolling with Duke. Uh, not Duke. Army. Why not? Next, Boston University Terriers. Um, Loyola Greyhounds. Boston's been pretty good. Uh, they 20 and 11 overall. 11 and 7 in the Patriots. Um, I think they've been on a... Yeah, they haven't. Their last game, they lost to Bucknell by eleven. But outside of that, they have. They've been pretty good as of late. I'll roll with them. Um, feeling pretty good about Boston. I, granted, a lot of these teams, from what I can recall this season, have been up and down. There have been no real consistent dominance outside of Colgate once we got into conference play. But yeah, no, I'm going to roll with Boston University over the Loyola Maryland Greyhounds. Then Navy Midshipmen, Holy Cross Crusaders. Navy's also been pretty consistently good. I mean, oh sorry, yeah, it, what Colgate was thirteen and two uh, in conference. They're um, yeah, they're 20, 12 and one at home. That's what it is. But um, yeah, Navy's been fairly good in conference. They led until they played Colgate. But um, yeah, no, I I see no reason to go against them here against a team. That went nine and twenty-one. Rolling with Navy here. Semi-final round. 
Um, cold. Uh, am I gonna actually? You know what? Screw it. We're going Holy Cross. I weird feel. I got a weird shift in feeling there. Let's roll with Holy Cross. Why not? So, so sorry, sorry, Navy. Sorry, sorry, Harrison. But um, yeah, semifinals. Colgate Raiders, Army Black Knights, Colgate, thirteen and two. Army's Army's just been way too inconsistent. Like, it, literally at five hundred, and it was fluctuating like crazy. I think they won these last two to get back to five hundred or something like that. Give me Colgate, Boston University Terriers, Holy Cross Crusaders, Boston. Yeah, you're nine and twenty-one. Barely even took you over Navy. You're probably going to lose to Navy. Now that I honestly think about it a little bit more. But screw it. We'll rock with Holy Cross. Um, yeah. No, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, with Holy Cross over Navy. And yeah. Either way, I feel like Boston University going to beat either one. Either Navy or um, Holy Cross. So I got I got a Colgate Raiders, Boston University uh, Terriers. And Colgate returns to the March Madness Tournament. I mean, again... 13 and 2. Just <laughs> that's my reasoning for picking them. But it's a pretty it's a good enough reason. I see no reason to go against it. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. That's all I got for today. Um there should be loads more college basketball coming out um here shortly, especially with tournaments starting. But yeah, now if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Adios.